With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so let's start solving the question. And the question says that 2 chloro 2 methyl pentane on reaction with sodium methoxide in methanol, right? On reaction with sodium methoxide in methanol yields this compound, right? So we have to tell that uh, which compound is possible, right? So A and C, C only, A and B, are or you can say that all of these, right? So let us start this question and try try to solve it. So we have given 2 chloro 2 methyl pentane, right? So if I write 2 chloro 2 methyl pentane, that is equal to CH3, right? CH2, CH2, right? And this is C, this is CH3, and this is also CH3, right? And it becomes 2 chloro 2 methyl pentane, right? So if this we have used sodium methoxide, right? We have used sodium methoxide, that is CH3 O negative Na, right? Positive. This is sodium methoxide in methanol right so in methanol we have used methanol methanol m e o h right so here i can see clearly that we have used a strong nucleophile a strong nucleophile in polar solvent right we have used in strong nucleophile in polar solvent that means the product will be elimination product right but it doesn't mean that the substitution product does does not form right so here the elimination product will dominate or substitution product but you can say in other words you can say that the yield of the elevation product will be more and the substitution product will be less but substitution product will also be formed right so if i carry out the reaction and uh, i i just i draw those substitution product that means the substitution product will form like look like this and it is formed through s n one mechanism because you can see clearly here that this is a tertiary carbonyl right so the tertiary carbon right so the reaction goes through s n one and the product will be look like this I am writing the product that is CH3, CH2, right? CH2 and C, CH3, right? And this is CH3, right? And this is OH3, right? OH3, right? And the other product is here Cl and this is so it becomes NaCl, right? It becomes NaCl, right? So this is NaCl. So this is the substitution product right but the yield of this product is very very less right so it is less yield less in yield i can say that it is less in yield right so it is less in yield right so now move to the elimination product right if i try to draw the elimination product so elimination product we know that the elimination product dominate over sufficient product if we take the strong nucleophile in polar solvent if we take the strong nucleophile in polar solvent right so if i dry the um, you can say that uh elimination product right so elimination product will be look like this if this is ch3 right and this is ch2 and this is also ch2 right and this is c and here this is CH3 and this is CH3 and this is also Cl, right? So here this is 2 methyl, 2 chloropentane, right? So if I am taking the strong nucleophile, right? So I am taking the strong nucleophile, you can see that I am taking the strong nucleophile that is OCH3, right? OCH3. This is strong nucleophile which will abstract the proton, right? So there is a two possibility it will abstract the proton from here and it will abstract the proton from here right from alpha hydrogen right so if i'm taking the product from this i'm saying it is a and i'm saying this is b right so this is um, path a and path b right so if product is formed through path a the product will be look like this product will be look like this you can say that the product is ch3 ch2 right and it is ch2 and c ch3 ch3 right and it becomes double bond ch2 right double bond ch2 right so it is a you can say hopman product right so but if we go through the path b right this is path a right so this is path a right if we go through path b the product will be look like this the product will be look like this you can see that here ch3 ch2 right and it becomes you can say that ch2 ch2 right and it becomes double bond right so not ch2 it becomes ch double bond c c ch3 right here ch3 and here ch3 right so it is a kind of uh, 
more substitutory product right you can say that say just two product right so this is along path b right so these both product are eliminatory product right elimination product so here we can see that all the products are possible through this reaction right so if we take the uh, strong nucleophile in polar solvent right so but in case of this the elimination product will be in more yield right both of these products are in more more yield has a more yield right so i can say that this is in more yield right so let's check the option options are uh, product a and c are also possible product c only possible product a and b only possible or you can say product all of these possible so i can say here say that easily the all of the product are possible so option a option not option a option d will become the right answer right right so option d will, will become the right answer so this is the answer so hope this sold your question so thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today